Hello. OK. Um, so I'm going to start off um, with a saying. There are 10 types of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. So quick question. Um, what number can you count to on two hands? OK, so we normally teach children to count using their fingers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is really limiting because uh, you can only get to 10. So my suggestion is that we teach children binary because using the binary encoding, we can teach them to count to 1,023 on two hands. Uh, you can do that by basically just assigning each finger uh, to the value. So if you're not familiar with binary, um, basically you can have it on or off, which for your fingers you can do by holding them up. So if everyone holds up one hand, we'll just do some counting. OK, so number one, number two, number three, number four, number I won't hold that one too long. Number five, <laughs> number six, number seven. OK, cool. So um, if you wanted to count 21, for example, this one's a bit of a stretch. It hurts a little bit if you hold that. OK, that's 21 on, on fingers. OK, so using this encoding system, we can be a lot more flexible with our counting. It, it makes arithmetic a bit harder if you want to teach a three-year-old how to subtract 10 from their fingers in binary. It's a bit of a difficult conversation, but that's fine. Um, another benefit to this system is that not only can we use numbers, but we can also represent characters or letters in binary. So we can actually fit uh, the ASCII code chart onto our hands, which is awesome. OK, so um, back in the 1960s or 70s, I think, they came up with this chart. Half of the characters are to do with control things for computers that don't exist anymore, but um, you can do numbers and also the letters. So we can encode text in our two hands, which is really cool. However, um, there's one major flaw with this. So ASCII fits into seven bits, uh, and we've got 10 to play. We've got 10 bits on our two hands. Um, and in Python, we can use the ORD built-in um, to get the numeric value. So for A, it's 97. Uh, for what I'm being told is pronounced the, I think. Uh, that value there in Thai is 3,585, uh, which is a problem because we need 12 fingers uh, to encode that. So um, the Unicode encoding for Thai characters starts at uh, 0E00. So my suggestion is that we basically introduce uh, UTF-9. Uh, <laughs> where we build on an 8-bit encoding for UTF-8, uh, but we use the ninth finger as an offset for 0E00, and we just call that the tie finger. We're left with one extra bit, which we can keep for any thumbs up uh, we might want to do. OK, so uh, I'm going to give you a quick demo. This isn't just slideware. This is real. OK, so um, what I've done is implemented a class from the Python codex type, um, implemented an encode method and a decode method, and basically just detected whether the ninth bit is on or off. And if it is, then I just do an offset. So um, it does tie in English, so I've called it Thinglish, uh, and it's Thinglish fingers. That's our encoder. So to use this, um, we just import it, and we can run an encode method uh, to encode text. And we can print that text, and then we can decode it. So if I run that, um, then I get my encoding here, which all fits into nine bits. So I can send messages in English and tie using my hands. Thanks very much.